All right, and welcome back to Modern Thursdays. We got Tyler DeLong. Like, is he related to Tom DeLong? We don't know. On Blue White Spirits versus Tony Mason on Mono Red Burn. No. Now, is this actually just Mono Red? No. Idea. No collected companies, huh? So we got Spirits and no Cocos and and pff, Spirits. <laughs> Quality magic over here, boys. <laughs> what? <laughs> With Blood Moon. Yep. Okay, uh, we're being told Mono Red is Mono Red with main deck Blood Moons and Blue White. Blue White Spirits, Spirits is, is like control Blue White. with. Yeah. Draw Skull Captain? Or Draw Skull Reaver, that would be sick. Draw Skull Reaver was the uh, uh, was a mythic. You mean the uh, 5 mana or 6 mana double strike whenever you uh, deal damage, it deals damage, you draw a card? It can like gain life too. Yeah, it's, it's double strike lifelink. Yeah. You like that card, don't you? That was great. Now, that's a mythic. It does cool things. What? Nothing. It is a mythic. All right, so we'll... Where do you think this Rift Bolt's going? Face! Face. Face is a place. He's playing Face Hunter. Yep. Face is a place. I see a mana leak. Get you. So, who do you think's favored here? Burn. Okay. Is that, <laughs> is that just your answer to always? Burn. I mean, they can both play at instant speed, but Burn doesn't have to have a clock. I don't know why you bolt that. Just bolt, bolt, bolt his face. Face is the place. Yeah. Moonland Haunt. Now, that's a grindy card. Moreland Haunt? Yes. <laughs> Moreland Haunt. I can't. I don't know cards. Yeah, it's a little slow though. It's it's not gonna. What is that? Um, is that a rift bolt? Um, I don't know what that is. Browbeats? Is that a rift bolt? What did he play? What is that card, Jake Valentine? It's an owl. Grumpy cat. Oh, Grumpy Cat Blood <laughs> Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Hey, Tony, you're sense. adorable. You're adorable. Are you not going off the list I gave you? Everybody's been taken. Are you serious? No. Okay, good. This is a must answer for Tyler. I don't... Maybe. Absolutely is. I mean, he can just, he just make 1-1 one, one spirits, dude. Yeah, but you have to have a creature in your graveyard, right? He has one. <laughs> Perfect. We get one, one, one. Hey, man, that's all you need in life. All right, we've got a Yu-Gi-Oh! Island. Yep. I wish I could see what's in their hands. That'd be very helpful. You know, like, like we just get, like, a poker cam? No, like a hand cam. Yeah, like, for poker? Make Jake tell us all the time what's in their hands. How about Jake's a shout out? It's a Mausoleum Wanderer. Yeah, that's the, uh... That is a Rattle Chains. All right, that's probably in response. Oh, I need one in response... Oh man, this is hot. I mean, I'm probably getting a little bit too excited about this, if I'm being honest. Alright. So, now, Tyler has a pretty fast clock in the air, if I say so myself. Because he can go Draft Call Captain and attack for 6. Alright, good news. Yeah, I picked Belfie. Nice. I think I think I don't have to do this anymore. Yep. Thank God I'm done. All right, now I can focus. All right, so we got we got the aggro hand from. Tyler. All right, so he's like, so this is like a, this is like banned spirits, but with no collected company and worse mana. <laughs> Better? I don't know. With worse mana. That makes no sense. Why does that not make sense? You <sighs> How does a two-color deck have worse mana than... Whoa, four mana! Whoa. Oh! Collected Defiance. What does that do? Yeah, but can't he just sack the... Can't he sack them all as the Wanderer? Do think I can pay one? Uh, or, oh, or he can just cast a Spell Queller. <laughs> yeah. 
So for the record, this is not a control deck. This is a this tempo. is a this is a tempo deck. Yep. All right. So, I mean, he did take two. So yeah, the difference between the white, blue white spirits list and banned spirits is uh, you don't have fast mana, so you don't have a noble hierarch. You All also right. don't have access to collected company because collected company into any of your spirits is pretty good. I mean, two hits because individually these these cards aren't aren't fantastic. Like playing these at he also didn't have to play that at sorcery speed, but. Blue White gets to run crap like Reman and Kira. It, yeah, but I mean, you're a tempo deck, though, right? W why does a tempo deck want to want to run like mana leak? Um, like it's because like in, it wasn't an effective answer, and like Cryptic Command is kind of awkward in these types of decks. I mean, he could this deck couldn't cast Cryptic Command if he's playing Cryptic Command. Then I mean, more power to you. I'm the say like so like mana leaks is a hard count answer to stuff you can't answer like enchantments and all that jazz. Yeah, I mean, you can always side those in, right? You're like a. This is basically a creature deck. But its creatures have effects, though. Rattle Chains lets you flash spirits in. Ma yeah. Mausoleum Wander, you can sack it to make your opponents pay X. Yeah, and right now it would be X is 2. Cura, uh, Cura's cute, but it's. Is it Cura Spirit? Uh, I believe so. That's got a neat interaction with Cura and. Uh, rattle chains. Wait, no, the trigger. It's right there. Yeah, Kira wouldn't. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, Kira wouldn't trigger. Well, Mor Morlin Han is. I wouldn't use the word insane, because Morlin Han's. F so. It takes re it takes too many resources, right? So first of all, if if you're using your Morlin Han, then you're probably in a bad position. I mean, so. Because it takes, what, three mana to activate and a creature in your graveyard. Which is... So in a vacuum, that's great, right? You say, oh, best case scenario, I was Spirit Lord out, so I'm attacking with two twos. But in reality, if, if, if you're tapping out to activate your Moreland Haunt, you're probably behind because it's not like the old... It's like the old guys decks of standard where you're going to hook that... You know, hook it up to a... Whatever the Runic Blade was at the time, or a piece of equipment. All right, or like a... Um, what's that one blue-white enchantment aura? Steal the Godhead. Steal the Godhead, yeah. The good one. Do you guys know if he runs a Snaring Breath and Sideboard? Who? Tony. He's probably just run a main deck. Yeah. That's uh, that's more like the uh, the legacy. There's some modern decks that do that, but they're like red-white uh, with Gideons and Nihiris. Um, oh, even the red-white prison deck? Yeah. Uh, legacy decks do that all the time, but they also get they also get Soul Lands. And also they have like Chandra's and Wing Con. Yeah, like they'll, they'll like Spirit Guide out a bridge on turn one or blood moon on turn one blood moon on turn one uh but we do not know if he is running bridges he has a grumpy cat blood moon i know that i'd imagine he's not i'd also probably side out blood moon in this matchup i don't like this i mean from what tony saw he saw tyler's mana base was pretty greedy so if i'm burned the problem with the problem in a dedicated burn deck is Blood Moon's not killing my opponent? Oh, it's not. So like, what, what did what did I, you I take out to play Blood Moon? I don't, I don't get why uh, Blood Moon isn't is in his deck. I mean, he probably just likes Blood Moon, but I. But in in reality, it's just taking up. Look spots at the, look at deck. Tony's face. He's like, I'm happy to be here. Tony's always happy to be here. I don't know why. Yeah, I would I would probably not run. You run Blood Moon in a deck that has like a prison deck that you can have inevitability another way, but in a burn deck where literally I'm counting the twenty. It's probably not the best card to have. All right, I mean, so what kind of inevitability are you talking about? We're talking about like a Snapcaster Mage, like a Chandra Ultimate, but not a, like a two-one like beater. <laughs> no, no. Why yeah. not? Yeah, because traditionally in my two-color blue-red decks, I probably don't want Blood Moon against another blue-red deck. But hey, man, Robert, Robert seems to love that card. Okay, in my defense against Tony, he had four Mutavolts. Oh. See, the best deck in Modern, All right. Right, your sideboard plan for every match should be four Blood Moons and four Surgical Extractions. All right. What about four, uh, Fulminator Mage? For what? Ful Fulminator Mage. Oh, four Fulminator Mage. Sure. Just bring in all 12. Yeah. Every single match. They won't see it coming. That's Transform. Oh, we damaged them. Uh, and we're off to the races. 
I wonder what kind of dedicated burn hate Tyler has. Uh, probably nothing. I don't really think he needs it. I mean, Blessed Alliance. Maybe. That'd be a good card. Yeah, like, Blessed Alliance is... Tony, I don't know if I can get behind Tony with the uh, with the mismatched <laughs> mountains. Hey, there. do we have this? Do we have the spell snare? Hindered in light. Wait, is Saint walks? Is that you, Mark? I feel like that's Mark. N no. Who, Mark? Which Mark? Uh, Anlicker. Hindering light. Yeah, yeah. Because the only person I know that else. That would play that card as Mark. I'll, I'll be honest. Is Hindering Light, is that the one that gives it indestructible? No, Hindering Light is counter target spell that targets you or a permanent you control draw a card. Perfect. What's the yeah. black card that counters a spell? Is that you can pay Withering four? Bone. That's it. Withering Bone, yeah. And yeah. someone can pay four life to negate this effect? Yeah. I definitely sat in my Withering Boons, even though it's not legal. Dash hopes. Henry Light would save spell core in this matchup and counter a burn spell. Yeah, that's fair. And draws you a card. I'd probably just rather kill my opponent. <laughs> I don't know. I mean you can make a you can make a you can make a argument for basically any card being somewhat relevant and modern. I mean P I mean young PZ's making a resurgence back in the uh Martyr Pyromancer deck. Yeah. That's because the uh, the guy that played it, I don't remember what his motto handle is, but he had an ungodly amount of Take. trophies last season. Yeah. Tyler takes four. Go to 11. I actually took six. His Lava Spike did a... Uh, it got countered. Yeah, but his Lava Spike still did two damage, though, because he had to cast a Mana Leak into the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Line. I'm saying, like, he took four from the attack. Oh, uh, okay. He took six total there. That this is not looking good. I don't think Tyler wins Tyler. this game. Uh, maybe if he goes, I don't know, I don't know. He, like he doesn't have his like destruct, like tempo based creatures here. Also, the problem is he plays anything. Tony's probably playing Searing Blaze. And that card just wrecks creature decks. Or like maybe like Tony brought in like Searing Bloods if he. Timely reinforcements, yeah, that's a card. He could have that. Oh uh, yeah, Timely reinforcement right here would be pretty solid. Um. My friend Zach uh, does not like the card Timely Reinforcements. Why? Because uh, he thinks the card's stupid. Wow. He also plays Burn. Oh. <laughs> oh, so he's your friend. I think you got an argument with Mark Larson about saying that Lava Spike is an interactive magic card. Wait, what? <laughs> he said that uh, Lava Spike, because it can go Planeswalkers or Players, it's interactive. Um, what? I don't want to upset anybody in chat, but Lava Spike is not what we call interactive. <laughs> Regardless if we can go players or planeswalkers. <laughs> I mean, yeah. All right, so game three of the Blue White Spirits versus Monterey Burn. This is the classic matchup. Tyler just needs a board presence. Uh, he can't sit back yeah, in this can't. match and just try to counter, 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 because that's a traditional problem that, that control decks have against yeah. against Burn. Is if they basically can, the Burn deck sticks a threat. It's not answered, and then just back it up with some spells. But yeah, you can't pass a turn every. You can't pass and just have man up every turn. I mean, he also didn't have a spell queller. If he was on the play, maybe the game was different. You or know, maybe goes, like a mausoleum wander. Or yeah, he goes like flash that. spirit into like uh, you know another threat or spell queller or yeah. something. Spell queller is very good in these types of in these types of matchups. Or like just flash threats in general. Yeah, which like, is kind of what he's leaning on. So again, that's the biggest difference between the banned spirit deck and this spirit deck is. Yeah. He can't cheat. He can't go from one to three. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see what you, you mean. Don't now. Have, you don't have a noble hierarch. Also, you don't have the you don't have the powerful four mana play of collected company. Also, but like he has this, he just plays more. He he just trading that with just more interaction on the stack. Yeah, yeah. he does. Uh, like I don't like. So mana leaks more often than not gonna be a, like a hard counter, but like I'm not looking to play mana leak if I'm him. I'm I'm just trying to kill my opponent. And right. like if you don't have a threat backed up by the counter magic, then you're effectively not doing anything. Because Tony's deck, for all intents and purposes, is, is all threats. He's not trying to counter. I mean, the four mana... Thistle down leash. I have no idea what that is. Is. <laughs> is that the... Is that the red-green one? No. I, I think it might It might be the blue-white one. I don't know. That might be. I think that would... 
Can we get a thistle down liege on the screen there? Jake? Please? Because I actually don't know what it is. Please? Is that Talowisp? Yeah. <laughs> What's that? I think it lets you go get an enchantment. See, I told you to blue blue white. Can we get Talowisp up? Yeah, we get a Talowisp up here for the Twitch chat in Robert Meadows. Because I have no idea what it Thistle does. Down Liege is a boss. Look it's at a that. Kinthkin and Knight, Knight, dude. Kinthkin, man. Kinthkin oh, my Knight. God. That was one of my favorite decks ever. That and Red Black Burn. Or Red Black Blightning from around the same time frame. Oh, my God. This would play like this would play like uh, Mirror Entity. Or when the first Ajani <laughs> came out. Oh, that was gas. Yeah, this card is gas. Talowisp. So, decks usually play this. Or who is the... Uh, who, what's the three-mana EDH general? He's like blue-white... He goes and gets enchantments. Bargo? No. Zur? Zur, yeah. He's four mana. He's four mana, okay. And he's Esper. Okay, yeah, I was way off. <laughs> 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 yeah, same, it's same thing. Yeah, whatever. All right, yeah. <laughs> but uh, um, people people futz around with this in modern occasionally with Zur the Enchanter decks. You're getting like uh, guys who Saint Trap. You or can something. steal the Godhead. You can steal the Godhead and say, all right. You get D, You can get D Sphere. D Sphere, yeah. You can get Thassa. Yep. But you don't. You don't get that one. No, it, you can. It's a one of. You can. You, you can get Bone Nylia. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can get. These are all things you can get. You can get Spreading Seas. Yeah, you can. I'm getting Heartburn. You, you can. Hear. Yeah, you can. You can get Spreading Seas. Uh, you can get Journey to Nowhere. Journey to Nowhere. That card's sweet. There is OP. What other What other bad enchantments could Jira get? Um, Reality Acid. Okay. Uh, yeah. Periphery Nodes. Is that Porphyry Nodes? Is that Is that is that gettable? Uh, honey drop. Drop of honey. Drop is of the honey, that thing. Porphyry Nodes is the color shifted. Yeah. Zer Doomsday, fair need itch. Yeah, Zer is legit need itch. Uh, you can get, let me think. Uh, what other bad enchantment? You can get Idol on the Great Revel. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> you get Idol on a Redrick. Oh, you can. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, we're breaking modern here. Oh, God. You, you get. Uh, uh, we're also going into four. I would just five. No, he's on four now. Oh, he's that was, that I was missed one. So when this happens, you just keep. Um, I'm a, I'm a big fan of the. Uh, you can get spirited labyrinth. <laughs> you can get idle on a great ravel to say. You can't. You're gonna take two damage. <laughs> I'm the I'm the burn deck now. <laughs> yeah, what's up, man? Uh, you can get rest in peace. Yeah, see, that's too reasonable though. <laughs> Well, I don't know why I want that. You can get bear, you can get uh, hyena umbra. <laughs> hyena umbra. Then go get your um, daybreak coronet. <laughs> oh man, there you go. That's tech. Why play boggles? Why play things that are hexproof when you can play a one three a one four for four? Yeah, dude. Tyler can Let's concede. Fly right here. I don't think he needs to concede. Uh, he so I he see has, he has one drop, two drop. This hand's absolutely fine. This is and he has two lands, one drop, two drop. Let's go. Yeah. Like, turn two, attack for two. Turn three, attack you for three. More than two, probably, ideally. Three. Are we just... Oh, God. Goblin oh, guide. Oh, oh, this is all, Maybe. everything Tyler wants. This is reveal land. Ah, uh, you got to get those out of your deck. Would I rather face... What am I playing? Yeah, what am I playing? Penis seg, what am I playing? Like, what deck am I playing? Because if it's what I typically play, it's Storm. Poorly. No, no. I mean, <laughs> like, I mean, if if I'm playing a typical deck, I I would play. I'd want to play against Storm. I don't know. Is this Magic online? I'd rather play against Tron, because Storm decks just always have it. No, I just kind of just do my own thing when I. Storm with Tron lands, obviously. Yeah, Mono Blue Storm Tron, perfect. They won't see it coming. <laughs> uh, well, we got this hand. Oh God, no! Someone's gonna get eaten. Uh, I'd rather play against Storm. Your last modern deck you played in a tournament. Um, when's the last time I played in a modern tournament? Probably played Elves. Uh, yeah, I played Elves. I would, I would much rather play against Storm because you bring in out of the, out of the board. You bring in uh, Gaddic Teague, Eidolon of Great, uh, Eidolon of Rhetoric. Uh, Tron is just not fun. Did All right. He, did he not flash his spirit in his? Does he have a rattle chains? What is he waiting for? What, what are you doing, Tyler? <laughs> Sack it. 
Wait, no, no, no. He can flash in rattle chains to give it a hex proof. Oh! Oh, the place. Oh, the stack. No! Sack uh, it! Look, like, look, at, look at the bigger picture, though. Those are nice bolts. Uh, but the mixed match lands, though. He also doesn't have to announce. Uh, prowess is not a trigger. It just happens. Nope. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You don't like, have no, to acknowledge no, like, it when damage happens. No, no, like, it is a trigger. You just don't have to announce it. Yeah, you don't say, prowess trigger, prowess trigger. I think Tony's just being... Nice. Sure. Uh, but, like, your opponent can respond to prowess. That's correct. It goes on the stack, but for all intents and purposes, like, what he's doing, it all, it all matters if you try to interact with it. Yeah. Like... From the from the from the uh, from the standpoint of if damage happens, Tyler can't say okay, take two here, mm -hmm. because you don't have to announce them. Those bolts are foils, so they're worse than beta and alpha. Call. Yep, I mean I like my foreign black borders. I think Craterhoof costs way too much mana for for elves in modern. Elves in modern, you are, you you don't have guys cradle unfortunately, and the three man enchantment that flips into cradle is not a good solution. It's not. Um. You'd have to have like two art druids out, or you'd have to get pretty lucky with a uh, with a shrine. Vexen Devil, dude. <laughs> All right, yeah, you got a you got a Vexing Devil. That is that is some old school stuff there. I mean, he can't take four; he'll die. He'll go to two this turn. Um, you can spell queller it. I would just spell queller it or mana leak it. Take two. Take two. You can spell Queller and block. You want to spell Queller this, actually. Well, I don't know you can now, unfortunately. Man, it is cold back here. D do you want me to warm you up? Ooh, ooh, baby. What about the Hydra that gets cheap with green creatures? What? I'd rather play Zakam with a 12-12. <laughs> or whatever the, the, uh, dino? the, the primal dinosaur. <laughs> Nah, I think I think that the strength of elves is that it's linear. You're a tribal deck with a combo finish. Collected company are good things. So like, if Ta Tony has a bolt right here, or some way to deal with this Queller, Tyler's dead. D E A D dead. I, I think unfortunately Tyler's in a bad spot. If only I had his Marlin Haunt active. Uh, He'd still be dead. Wait, what? Wait, what's that? Oh, searing blood. So he's dead. Wait, yeah. wait. Uh. Yeah, Galta, 12-12. Okay, okay, I see. If Tyler draws three hindering lights in a row, he might win. No, if he goes Tyler reinforcements and then two more after that just to gain life, he's good. Right, well, that'll be it for round two. Round two of modern action. Yeah, we'll see you guys back later for Mason. round three.